Okay, here we're looking at a crosswind landing in the Cessna 172 using the wing low method. So we have a an 11 knot crosswind coming at about 300 degrees, so it's a little bit to the rear and to the left. Normally we'd come from the opposite direction, but it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this landing. So holding a lot of left uh, well, a little bit of left aileron and a lot of right rudder to straighten the nose. Touching down on the upwind main wheel first and then downwind main and the nose. Not an absolutely perfect landing, a little bit of a shallow approach. See here, just adding a little bit of left aileron. It's a little bit tricky because as you add left earlier on, it tends to get really unsteady. I'm not really sure the reason for that, I'm not, uh, but it really does make it difficult to keep it straight on the rollout. So on approach, you're looking again with the uh, a crosswind from the left. You would hold a little bit of left aileron to prevent drift and right rudder to keep the nose straight. You can leave that right rudder application until the round out and flare that would be personal preference so again we're just trying to keep it straight here on the runway it's not very easy this is something I've done previously but I'm a little bit rusty so I'm coming back to practice this and I thought it would be useful to demonstrate an early attempt but that is a crosswind landing in the Cessna 172 And as you can see here from the rear, just holding a little bit of left aileron, using the right rudder to keep the aircraft pointed straight down centre line. It's a little bit of a battle here just to keep the thing straight, keep it as much on centre line as possible. And always making small corrections, trying to keep that left wing down up just enough to keep it from pushing to the right and keeping the nose pointed straight. As airspeed bleeds off, you're losing control authority, so you have to add a little bit more left aileron and a little bit more right rudder. And here we are trying to keep it straight on centre line. And again this time from the front, so a little bit of left aileron keeping the left wing down just enough to prevent drift and nose pointed down centre line with right rudder coming up to the flare and just holding it important thing on approach is to remember to approach correctly so you it's very easy to get distracted and to be concentrating. In this video, I was actually too low on the approach. It's very easy to lose track of your descent while you're concentrating on keeping the aircraft straight. And on rollout, just keeping it straight as possible. So, if you're looking to practice crosswind landings, I would say set the conditions up to real world weather whenever you're practicing a landing and just take whatever wind speed and direction that is given to you. Remember also you're not always going to have a distinct wind direction sometimes you're going to get variable winds that are going to blow from various directions so uh, be aware of that. So as always hope you found that useful and uh, we'll be doing some more crosswind landings and trying to perfect the technique in future videos so as always feel free to like comment and subscribe